joining us for the managerial interviews, joint manager John Underwood after that 2 0 defeat to Ebb's Fleet. John, it's, it's, I guess it's tough to take. You've had some chances there. I think Ebb's Fleet must be the better of the team in the first half. Second half, you were in it. Yeah. Um, you have a chance with Dan Roberts that's stopped by the substitute Goodman. I don't think he knew too much about it. He blocks it on the goal line and a few minutes later they go up the other end and score but sometimes that's just football isn't it yeah it is and I've not been too harsh on our lads there obviously never like losing Um, but I thought we had a real go particularly second half Um, and I think yeah until their goal I thought we were certainly the side that looked more likely to score at 1-0 yeah you're right first half they were very very good Um, they were sharp they moved the ball well Um, lots of movement lots of rotation and, and um, we were very much on the back foot first half. They had a lot more possession than we did. Um, sometimes when you're in a game like that, you, you spend all your time trying to stop the opposition and, and work hard. And, and when you win it back, sometimes we weren't as high up the pitch as we wanted to be. And sometimes tired legs when you've won it back and then you give it away again. But I, I, I was pleased. You know, outside of their goal, which was obviously, a, you know, the lad got his toe across Sam's toe and just, you know, it was a good finish. It was a bit like what Warren did for us you know it was good play from them good cross good finish um, they had a couple of other chances but I thought we we threatened first half without really opening them up but I, I still felt that we were causing them a few problems um, but I thought second half we really raised our game and, and you know I think a couple of the standout chances I think Ben had the header which I think was just slightly behind him and he maybe couldn't get the power on it that he wanted and the one you mentioned from Robbo which hit the lad and he knew nothing about it. It was a bit like, you know, birdie shot here Saturday that hit Warren on the line. It was the same. And I, I felt we were I felt we were looking like we were going to get an equaliser at that point, sort of 65 to sort of 70, 75 minutes. I thought we were really putting the pressure on. They, their, their threat was sort of nullified. I thought they were on the back foot. And I thought we put some really good performances in second half. I thought we had a right, a right go. And, and as a manager... That's all you can ask, you know. We, we've put a hell of a lot into Saturday's game, having been, you know, as we said, out, out for a long time. And um, they looked, yeah, they looked sharper than us first half. But I, I was really pleased with our response second half, and I thought our fitness levels looked good second half. So, um, yeah, not not gonna, it's disappointing, but I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna criticise anyone because I think as a manager, all you ever ask is that the the boys stick together as they did, work hard as they did, showed character. And I thought we showed some good quality second half as well, and it just wasn't our night. Um, sending off for Aaron Cool, have you got any doubts it was a red card? No, I think uh, I don't think Cooley's the sort of player to go and you know do anything malicious. But I think it was it was a poorly timed challenge, and, and I think when you challenge like that, um, you, you run the risk of a red. I, I didn't have too many complaints; just chatting to him in there and. And um, I think he knows as well. He, he got it wrong. He, he, he missed time the tackle. So the main, the most important thing is their lads okay. Because sometimes you tackle like that, you can cause a bad injury. So I was, I was, you know, pleased for their lad that he was okay. Um, but no, it, no complaint. No complaint. It was a bit of a, a letdown for him because he'd actually had a really good second half up until that moment, and maybe a little bit of frustration has caused it. I think it was frustration. I think we gave the ball away in a, in a reasonable position and. And he was trying to kind of cover up for another mistake. And yeah, um, I thought Cooley was excellent second half. I thought, um, as with a number of them, I, th- I thought, um, yeah, he was driving us forward. He was he was all over the place. He was charging down the left wing. He was breaking up in front of the back four. I thought there were some really good performances tonight. I think um, certainly second half more than first. But um, yeah, no, no complaints on that one. You know, he'll have to learn from that one and not do that again. It's maybe the fact that that half display of Ebsleep where they pretty much in captain half but without great is um, what did you say at half time then um, said to them that we obviously we need to try and get ourselves further up the pitch there was a couple of little bits we were trying to do uh, in terms of Cam playing on the left hand side was getting really sucked in almost playing like a left wing back and we tried to sort of adjust something to get him a bit higher up the pitch um, I, th- I think actually maybe they sat off a little bit. They, they didn't start the second half with the intensity and maybe allowed us to get a bit of a head of steam up. And when we did that, I thought we were pretty relentless second half. I thought we kept coming and kept coming. So I, I told them that, you know, don't be afraid to be 1-0 for another 20, 25 minutes, stay in the game and, and believe that we've got a goal in us. And, and I think we would nearly prove right with that, you know, with some of the chances we had with 15, 20 minutes to go. Um, and if we'd have got that goal, who knows what would have happened. But they were clinical with the the second goal. Um, Dobbo cut it back nicely for their lad and he, he took it well. So, um, 
you know, we were committing more and more people forward, and they they had more space, you know, more space to pick the player out. Maybe when we've been crossing it, we've been crossing it into a quite a congested area, but we'd, we'd yeah, we'd push so far up, and they were able to just pick us off, and, and it was a good finish. And you know, the lads got himself two good goals there. Uh, up to Eastbourne, down to Eastbourne on Saturday, um, a place where you've actually done well with the three visits there. Um, it's not going to be the same without fans, though, is it? It's one of those grounds where you can, the way fans make a lot of noise, it's not going to be the same, is it? No, no, we always travel well down there. I think we've had three wins out of three down there, so it, it has been a happy place for us. They're going really well this year, actually, Eastbourne. They've had a, a really good start, so yeah, another tough game. Um, yeah. Obviously, we need to see what happens tomorrow, what comes from tomorrow's meeting. I think it's fair to say everything's a little bit up in the air at the moment, but uh, as it stands, yeah, we're getting here and recover Thursday and, and prepare for, for Saturday. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us, John. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers, Aid.